And I think, you know, any form of life, even biological life that we find on another planet, we will be shocked when we see it. For example, the nearest star to us is called Proxima Centauri. Now, it's not like the sun. It's much smaller, 12% of the mass of the sun. And it's much fainter. But it has a planet close enough so that life can be on the planet. The planet has a permanent day side. It's facing the star because it's so close to, to the star, 20 times closer than the Earth is from the sun. That planet, Pro Proxima b, is facing the star with the same side. So there is a permanent day side. Like the moon. Yes, exactly, like the moon, and a permanent night side. And the per permanent day side is warmer than the permanent night side. Uh, but um, if you think about the animals that may exist on the day side and on the night side, they would be very different. And also the ones on the day side, since the star is uh, much colder than the sun by a factor of two or so, it's cooler, like uh, 3,000 degrees instead of almost 6,000 degrees for the sun. Um, then they, the, most of the light emitted by the star is infrared. So these animals would have infrared eyes, not like our eyes detect sunlight. That's what we have. But on that planet, Proxima b, the closest planet, habitable planet to the solar system, you need infrared eyes to survive. So these animals would be something very different. They will have infrared eyes. I don't know how they would look. I think even if we find evidence for biological life, it would be shocking to us. Not to speak about, you know, technological instrumentation. You know, if they are much more advanced than we are, it would look like magic to us. Uh, you know, it, an approximation to God. It will do things that are really crazy for us.